This video is probably gonna be a little all over the place. I'm gonna warn you right now. I've got a lot going on in my head. I wanted to talk about the Trump getting shot at yesterday. I wanted to talk about the Bible. I wanted to talk about the 144,000. I wanted to talk about the, the chosen ones. See how this goes. I've got a lot going on in my head. I'm going to start off with something that I texted uh, a friend of mine yesterday about the Trump thing. So I said, biblically speaking, the stories and dates in the Bible are lining up a little too convenient with this year. The stories of Joseph, Lot, Lot's wife, Jonah, plus the eclipse, eclipses dates and its path uh, running through every single Nineveh uh, part of Jonah's story in this country and people uh, singing in my head. The day of the eclipse, I kept hearing in my head, my name is Jonah. My name is in all different voices, I'm like, what is going on? And especially as the eclipse happened, cause I did film it, I had it on this channel, I still have it on this channel. All I could hear is my name is Jonah. <clears throat> it, like, and it was just repeating itself. Now I haven't, uh, on this channel, I haven't kind of revealed just kind of how out there I am, but this video may do that. Uh, over and over again during the eclipse, and I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Then Beryl, the hur this hurricane Beryl, Beryl was a rock in the story of Jonah. Uh, the hurricane, you know, in Houston is a, is a rock in the, the, the story of Jonah. The hurricane landed exactly three months from the eclipse, which is the exact day, three months. Jesus said that the only sign the wicked would receive was the story of Jonah, and the hurricane just hit. Also, 13 shots were fired at Trump, 13 being the number of the wicked. I know this is a, a rambled mess, but it's a lot. I, um, and then I just kind of said some other stuff that I, want, I don't want to stay on here. But if you really line this up, if you talk about the chosen ones, the 144,000 that, that's talked about in the book of the Revelations, <clears throat> we, we kind of are seeing that. Now, technically we've been in end times since you know the ascension of Jesus, but and then some people say that we've been in end times since, you know, the beginning of humanity. I don't, you know, whatever. You know, you, you can fight this, you know, for forever. But if you really look at the stories that are present from the time period that lines up with this year, we got Joseph, who was loved by his parents, but hated by his, or his father, but hated by his brothers. <clears throat> they were going to kill him. And then some... People passed while they were trying to kill him, and he ended up being turned into a, he, he was put in jail in, in Egypt, and then he was framed by the head dude's wife because he wouldn't have sex with her, so she, she claimed that he raped her. But it all turned out into in his favor. Then you got Lot's family, and you know Lot's wife. The, the whole family was told not to look back at your past. Just keep moving forward. And Lot's wife turned around, and sure enough, there is a salt pillar that looks exactly like a woman in Israel. And she turned around, and she turned into a pill, pillar of salt. Then you got the story of Jonah who uh, you know, denied what uh, God was telling him and he ended up getting swallowed by a whale. And then you've got Trump getting shot at 13 times here, which, you know, 13 being the, you know, that's, that's what I heard, right? I, I wasn't there. 13 times being the number of the wicked. And it has me thinking, if you really look at the stories in the Bible, the chosen ones are not going to be these perfect little people with these frilly little, you know, like women with their frilly little clothes on, perfect, reading reading Bible quotes, judging people over here, looking, you know, all perfect and everything. And the dudes, uh, nothing ever goes wrong for them. It's going to be the people who have been through hell and come out of it still believing in God and the stories and everything like that. <clears throat> it's going to people, the, the people, look at what Trump has been through since he, he was loved by everybody. He was actually a registered Democrat and he was asked by the military, uh, hopefully this video, this video might get taken down, but he was asked by the military to run for president. Look at what he has been through. Now he has been shot at, I mean, I think he's been shot at before or there was shooting near him, this dude actually got hit in the air. And that's another thing. This this comes back to a story that I told, or a, a, a statement that I said about McDougal. The day you are going to leave here cannot be changed. You can't change it. 
You cannot change that date. That is proof yesterday. This dude gets shot at, <clears throat> gets hit in the ear. How much farther over would that need to have been to take him out, right? You cannot leave here other than the day that you are meant to leave here. It's not possible. It is not allowed to happen. But the people who are going to rise up, the people who you are going to see as the chosen ones are the people who have been put through hell the last 10, 15, 20, whatever years. The people who have gone through crazy things and still come out of it. It's not like Trump has like the, this perfect story. You know, it's not like Trump has this perfect story at all. He's been through a lot. And I, the only reason I'm saying this is because I've been through a lot and all of a sudden I'm seeing all this stuff that I've always heard in my voice, or this voice in my head say, you'll eventually have this. I'm seeing it coming into my life all of a sudden. I'm like, what is going on? Now, I ha I'm not talking about it yet. I have notebooks and notebooks and notebooks of what's been going on. At some point, I will talk about it. And it, it, But even I've had a couple of people in my DMs say that you're completely different than you used to be. And I am, I, I don't even recognize myself since the beginning of this year. It's just the, the changes have been just uh, uh, drastic. And I kind of, I, like, I don't know, you know, who, who, what, what's going on or anything like that. But when I watch the people, <clears throat> what everything that's going on these days, it's crazy. And it lines up so much with these three stories. And I keep hearing about these three stories no matter where I go. Like if I'm on the internet or if I'm like just in the store, I'll hear, hear about these. It's crazy how much I keep hearing about this. And I'm like, there's got to be something to this. So I wanted to make a video about this, you know, like I don't really, you know, the Trump sh shooting thing is, is ridiculous. I'm sure I'm going to get so much hate in, in the comment section because people have been just, people, you know, the, the, the brainwashing that has gone on since this whole, t since 2016 is astonishing, astonishing. The fact that they got however many millions of people to take an experiment for a, a thing that had a 0.0003% death rate or a 0.003 death rate. Like who who takes an experiment for something that is, is less fatal than the, the flu? Uh, and, and, and you still see, see people wearing masks around here, you know, like having their masks on and, you know, loud and proud. It's like, what what is wrong with you? <clears throat> but anyways, watching this whole thing unfold has been nothing short of watching just sheeple everywhere, sheeple everywhere. And I'm sure the sheeple are gonna be in the comment section. They, they like to let themselves known. They like to, you know, they, they love to, to show you how stupid they are. It's just ridiculous. And I guess I'm on my high horse, you know, judging people, but man, I mean, to what level? I don't. I don't want the other guy getting shot. I, like, I don't want Biden getting shot at. I'm sure, you know, at some point, uh, they're gonna, you know, he's gonna be, you know, they're gonna claim he had something, and they're gonna put somebody else in his place before the election happens. Who knows? But wow. But really, look at the people who have been through hell. Chances are real good that they're the chosen ones, not these preachers out there who are driving Bentleys and not, not saying that you can't have fancy stuff, but I mean, oh. I have a feeling this next three months is going to be crazy, crazy. I don't know about the months after that. I think the months after that might not be, but I don't know, especially in America. And I live in a swing state. I live in the most swing state that there is, Ohio and Cleveland. I live in Cleveland and so it could get real interesting here because they're all the candidates are always here. They shut the city down every time. I, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I mean, Ohio, whoever wins Ohio for the most part wins the election. So we'll see what happens here. That is going to get interesting. I actually am surprised that it took this long in this year to get interesting, but I have a feeling that the rest of this year is gonna make up for it. But we, who knows, maybe it won't.
Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about all this. I have no idea. But really look at the people who have been through a lot and still keep on going. They don't let it get them down. Those are the, the examples you want. You don't want somebody that's had this perfect life their entire life. They can't even understand. You know. Anyways. I think that's it. I'm sure there's more I wanted to say. So when I'm watching this, I'll probably just write notes and uh, make another video. But that is my thoughts on the whole thing. I'm not going to do any kind of investigation or anything into it. I think it is what it is. And I don't think that you can stop what's coming. And that is my video. Uh, comments, questions down below. I'm sure it's going to be interesting in this one. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.